everyone, Alexa here from the blog theduvalhomestead.com and today I want to show you how to make a steak on a cast iron. We have cooked steak many different ways at our homestead. We love to barbecue, we like to broil or do a slow roast, and I have a couple recipes that I've shared for other ways to make steak. But if you have a nice thick cut that you would like to, say, barbecue, but it's pouring rain outside, or it's snowing, or you just don't have a barbecue that's working, or maybe you just want to get creative with your cast iron, because you love cast iron, then this is the perfect method to do it. Cooking a steak on a cast iron is really quite easy. It's very simple. So I'm gonna show you how we do it. And I apologize if this is incredibly bright. We have a window right next to this, so it's gonna be bright in the dark, bright in the dark. So a couple tips to remember when you're cooking steak on a cast iron is first you wanna have a nice seasoned cast iron. I will leave a link below this video for the cast iron we are using. It is definitely worth investing in. It is the safest and most effective way to be cooking on your stovetop. So how I tell if my cast iron is seasoned is I just run my finger over the top and if it feels really dry like paper, it's probably not well seasoned seasoned enough. You don't want it to feel slippery, but you do want it to, when you rub your fingers down, to feel like some oil in the cast iron. My next tip is to make sure that your steak is at room temperature. If your steak is frozen, pull it out of the freezer a few days before you want to make this recipe. This is not the kind of thing that you should do when you pull the steak right out of the freezer last minute and then you quickly dethaw and then you throw it on. It's going to be really tough and just not good. We've done it. So that's how I know. <laughs> <laughs> there are ways you can cook frozen steak, which I have shared via a pot roast, etc. But in general, having your steak thawed to room temperature is always best. So take your steak out, thaw it at room temperature, and then you want to salt the steak really generously. And you can kind of massage the salt in there. And you can let this sit for an hour or so. Good to let it sit because the salt really gets into the meat. So when you're ready to cook your steak, you want to turn your cast iron on to a medium-high temperature. That's about a 7 on our electric stove. So I'm waiting for the cast iron to heat up and I'm just gonna chop up some garlic really quick because I wanna add it to the pan at the end with all the steak bits for a little garlic butter sauce. So it should be hot enough that you feel quite a bit of heat when you put your hand over it. It should feel like you're warming your hands after a really cold day. So I'm just gonna salt the pan, a lot of salt. And that's all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add our steak. And you want to be able to really kind of move the steak side to side. Okay, it's been about two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and flip. And then I'm just going to keep shaking and flipping the meat every couple minutes or so, checking to see how it's browning on all sides. Okay, the steak is looking good, so I'm gonna check the temperature. We want it to be about 145 degrees Fahrenheit for medium rare. So I turned the heat off completely on the burner. It's really nice and hot right now, so we're gonna scrape up all the steak bits here. I'm gonna add some butter. the garlic that we chopped earlier. I'm just gonna use this same thing to scrape up the bottom. And if you want, you can also add herbs here. I always like doing that because then herbs go right onto the steak. It's gonna be a really nice flavor. And you only need a little bit because your steak is already so good as it is. And you're also cleaning your pan right now, which is nice because your pan will need to get cleaned anyway. So I have everything scraped up here. There won't be much left to clean. I'll probably just wipe down this pan with a paper towel. I have two beautiful juicy steaks. Let's just check this out here. Perfectly a little bit pink. Thank you so much for watching this video. We love having this in a pinch if it's snowing or something outside and we just don't feel like barbecuing. Also, it's kind of fun. I feel like I never thought I could cook steak. 
<laughs> because John always cooks on the barbecue and my dad always used to cook on the barbecue growing up. And I never thought it was something that I could actually cook on the stove. Now I cooked like roasts or, or soups and stew, but I never thought I could make like a really nice medium rare steak on the stove. So this was a really fun when I learned how to do this. If you didn't get this recipe right the first time, don't worry, don't forget it takes practice. It does help to have a meat thermometer. So I will link the meat thermometer that I use below this video. I also use it for yogurt and especially meats. It just takes some of the guessing out of it. If you're new to my page, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and like on Facebook. Every week I post new farm to table eating, homesteading, and homemade natural lifestyle from our homestead in Duval. Thanks so much for stopping by the homestead.